A federal high court in Kanu has set aside a ruling of the FCT High Court suspending the National Chairman of All Progressive Congress, APC, Adams Oshamale. Justice Louis Alego on Thursday ordered the police and the Department of State Services, DSS, to provide security for the chairman to resume in his office. On Wednesday, Justice Danleme Senchi had granted an order of the interim injunction stopping Oshomole from parading himself as the national chairman. The Kanu High Court ruling was delivered by Justice Louis Alego. With me in the studio to discuss this development is the Chief Press Secretary to the Governor of Oshun State, Ishmael Omi Bidon. Thank you very much the for pleasure. joining us. The pleasure is mine. Okay, two contradictory ruling. Which do we go with? Well, I, I, I think um, we have gone with the two. How do I mean? First, let me place on record that uh, ordinarily the FCTI court ought not to have entertained the matter because where you have federal institutions involved in any matter, uh, the only uh, competent uh, uh, you know, court that has jurisdiction over such matter, it's the federal you know, high court. But having said that, the FCTI high court gave its ruling. And um, if you observe very well, the APC issued a statement saying that it was going to obey the court you know, ruling. And that was what led you know, the national chairman into going back to the court to seek protection. So uh, technically speaking, if you ask me, I would say that the first ruling was obeyed. And that was why the chairman went to court to get his own you know, uh, injunction. Because if he, had not, if he had carried on as the national chairman of the party, without court protection. That is only when we would have accused him of flouting a court order. But as far as the latest court ruling is concerned, he remains the national chairman of the party, pending the determination you know, of uh, uh, you know, the case. Um, some say that this is um, an overblown a battle of egos um, that has you know sort of put the party in a position that has made it almost a ridicule uh, in the eyes of the public what do you say uh, well i i don't think so because um, even in family setting you know husband and wife do quarrel uh, the only difference here is that i believe very strongly that it ought not to have got into uh, the marketplace because when two uh, members of the same family when they have prayer and they can't settle it amicably the moment you invite a third party you know you would have uh, escalated the matter and if you are not careful it may get out of hand is it a failing of the leadership of the APC at this point to rim in these uh, seeming excesses even of someone who is also a leader yeah, yeah, the attempt to do that was what led to the setting up of a National Reconciliation Committee. That doesn't seem to be working. No, you can't say. We have, uh, the committee advertised, you know, for parties, conflicting parties to send in their memorandum. The office is uh, located in Maitama, and I think... Uh, the closing the, the deadline for submission of memorandum should be either 9th or 10th, I'm not too sure. So it is not correct to say it is not working. The committee had been inaugurated and they, are, they have started receiving you know, memorandum from you know, parties involved. So I would, have, uh, uh, I would have wanted a situation whereby all the warring parties allow the reconciliation committee to run its courts. After then, then if you are still aggrieved, you can now, you know, uh, take the option of a uh, court. All and, of I, and I believe very strongly that the National Reconciliation Committee, led by the former governor of the state of Oshun, uh, the former interim national chairman of the APC, Chief Bisi Akande, it's a well positioned to handle this matter.
Uh, how how damaging has this been for the party? Because considering the fact that you know they're, they're, they're more um, invested as it seems now to maintain um, position, Oshamale, for instance, needs to stay in power, and that is distracting from other things that he needs to do. How is it possible for us to ensure that these people that are put in this position um, follow are more accountable to the mandate that they've taken than to personal uh, vendettas? Before now, we lost uh, the, the challenge we were facing today started in 1999. How do I mean? You know, before 1999, there was proper party discipline. Uh, even though I was much younger then, I recall that uh, when the MPN, if MPN is meeting, for instance, uh, the president comes in before the national chairman. Before the national chairman, I decided you had the point. So there was proper party discipline. However, we lost it uh, during the reign of the PDP, where uh, Mr. President, if he wants anything, he will just call the governors, look, this is what I want. The governors to say, okay, if you want this, we'll give you this, but you we'll also give us that. So the name made it look like the governors were in charge of the party to the extent that they could uh, decide anything. So how do we so manage that? That is what APC is trying to correct. You know, and a lot of these governors, don't forget that uh, APC is uh, made up of... Uh, former PDP members? Not necessarily former PDP members, but <laughs> different categories of people. Most, mostly PDP, former PDP. <laughs> CB, you know, so some of them are yet to purge themselves of uh, you know, that mentality. And that is what APC is trying to correct. That look, the governors must not necessarily decide what happens in the party. We have party chairmen, we have party leadership. Allow them, you know, to take charge and do, you know, the needful. And I believe that with the way it's going, because give it to Adam Soshimole, you can accuse him of anything, but he has also tried to ensure party discipline. Because you need a strong character to enforce party discipline. And that is what you know, we have today. And going forward, I believe that it will be improved upon. Thank you very much for coming on the news. The pleasure is mine.